Hello, my name is Mark Brown and I'm the director of the National Institute for Digital Learning uh, based at Dublin City University in Ireland. So what are the barriers we have overcome in the last three years in learning analytics? Um, for me, uh, the barriers are actually not technical barriers, they're more the people side of things, uh, linked to really the culture of learning and teaching within an institution. Um, I think we've had uh, analytics uh, as educators and in institutions for a very long time. It's just that the technology allows us to perhaps aggregate and present visually um, the analytics and integrate the data that we have. But what it hasn't um, really helped us with greatly is the culture in which then we have to go from the collection to the interpretation to ultimately the action. It's the action of what we do with the data that we have that's crucial. And in many respects, I don't think we've made a lot of progress in terms of changing the culture in which our academic community understand how to use the data that we have available. Um, even, to be quite honest, the willingness to engage with what's being provided, taking ownership of the importance of uh, teaching and how much it matters, particularly in a university context. Um, perhaps the one thing that is more, uh, more mature than three years ago is our appreciation of how important it is to give the data back to the learner so that they're the ones self-regulating and using the data because ultimately they're the ones who have given us that information. So if only ethically we have a commitment to give it back. But I still think that's very immature in what we're doing at this point. Do you see learning analytics in five years? In some respects, I'd actually like to think that we weren't talking the words learning analytics. Um, I'd be uh, being pedantic or splitting hairs here, but I would la rather us talk about education analytics. Um, education and learning are not the one and the same, and I'd like to see us take even a bigger view, a much bigger picture. Um, for me, uh, education is actually in uh, a point of struggle and battle. There's a tension around the benefits of education, who pays for it, how it's funded, is the state funding it, is the private individual funding it, and I um, really hope that the big data that we may be able to gather over the next five years will help us understand what the public benefits as well as the private benefits are of education. So in analytics, what I'm talking about is not just the time that a student is within an institution, but beyond the institution, how that education has contributed to their future, um, the contribution it's making to their communities in which people live in and the society that they contribute to, um, to demonstrate really the public benefits one would like to think of the state continuing to pay for education substantially um, as opposed to that price being placed back onto the learner. But of course without the data to fully answer that we don't really know um, what we should be doing in the future at this point.